Are you a content creator looking for the best visual effects? This is Alright guys, so now that we are in a Vegas Pro 20, this is basically a clip that I have that we're gonna render out. So the first thing that we have to know is obviously, um, and that also uh, leads me to a question that I got on Instagram DM so many times is people having problems with rendering the videos um, into the right format. They will either have like black bars appearing all of a sudden when they're rendering while the preview like this is totally fine. These kinds of problems. So the thing that I want to cover today is not only the best render settings, but how to avoid certain black bars how to uh, like avoid errors how to avoid your videos getting corrupted when the video is finished because let's say that you're finishing a video and it took you 30 minutes you walk away you come back and you try to play the video and the video is like zero minutes long it's zero seconds it doesn't play back and you have no idea what went wrong i'm going to show you exactly how to fix all of these problems so let's start off with the first thing which is obviously having our video right here in the timeline so what you always want to do when you finish editing your video you want to highlight everything in your timeline that you want to export and then you want to press d on your keyboard a couple times until you see this little icon highlight all the video files or the video tracks in your audio in your project i mean not your audio tracks because that's not going to help then you want to right click and then you want to make sure you click on switches and you want to hit disable resample that's going to avoid frame blending so your video will look a lot smoother especially for gaming videos recorded in higher frames per second so now that we have done that we want to check one final thing and that is the project settings or the properties so right here if you're wondering what your video is shot in and the resolution you can pretty much if you drag in the video a clip let's say from your iphone and you don't know if it's 1080p or 720 if you drag that video in you can clearly see right here on the bottom what kind of resolution and frame rate it is so you want to render that out in this exact setting so right now we know that this clip is right here 1920 by 1080 it is 60 frames per second so we're not going to render this out in 4k we're not going to render this out in 720p you guys know what i'm trying to say so now we're going to go to file and we're going to hit render as and the standard format for videos online on youtube and social media and all that is obviously mp4 so i would just recommend to pick magix avc slash aac mp4 and 90 percent of the time you will also see a little uh, equal sign next to the preset and that equal sign basically means that it's matching your project properties but if it doesn't for example on all these ones right here we're gonna make a custom one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the regular 1080p from youtube 29970 then we're gonna hit customize template and then we're going to change a couple settings which are quite important right here so the thing that you want to do is you want to pick the frame size which is obviously going to be the one that you shot it in so that's obviously going to be 1920 by 1080 full hd you want to make sure that this one is unchecked so because if you're going to check this you're going to allow the source to adjust the frame size and you don't want that you just want to keep that unchecked so that your frame rate and your and your frame size is locked in so then the profile is going to stay on main right here the frame rate is really really important so if you filmed your video in 30 fps it might look tempting to say like all right i want to have the quality sharper or smoother i'm going to render it out in 50 well that doesn't really work because the video is not uh, recorded in 50 to begin with so you want to always make sure that you match that you render your video when it's a matching frame rate so if you filmed it in 30 fps you want to keep it on 29 970 ntsc but this video is recorded in 60 frames or animated in 60 so i'm going to drag this one or click on 59 right here the field order is going to be non-progressive scan. The pixel aspect ratio is going to be 1.0000. The number of reference frames is going to be 2. You want to leave pretty much all of that how it is right here. That looks good. The only thing that I would recommend is go to the audio tab. Make sure that you include your audio. Otherwise, if you don't have this enabled, you're not going to render out your voice or your game audio or your music or whatever. And then you go to the project tab. And right here, it says video rendering quality. You want to choose best in the drop down menu. And then you're pretty much good to go. So we're to call this for example a youtube preset 60 fps then you want to hit this diskette icon which is going to save the preset and then if you're going to hit okay as you notice it shows an equal sign because we just picked 60 frames per second which is obviously showing right here 59 940. so now that we have done that obviously some people ask like why are certain resolutions 1440 by 1080 instead of 1920 well that's the thing when you upscale videos or if you want to record something in 4k for example you do always 
always want to make sure that you pick 1920 by 1080 because sometimes if you pick 1440 the width is going to be different than your height you want to always make sure that that one actually fits and that it matches so now that we have done that what we're going to do is we're going to give this file a name let's say we're going to call this test render then the location is going to be let's say our desktop right here you can also see our estimated file size is going to be a nine megabytes big so that is pretty much uh, the file size we can expect sometimes it can be 8 it can be 10 because obviously it's estimated and then once you hit render as it's going to render out your video you will have your box right here where you can also choose to manage the uh, or, or basically monitor the performance how many frame rates you're using right now your cpu usage your memory usage all of that it's really handy it's not going to change anything to the video but that's pretty much how it works and then when your video is finished exporting you can go ahead and drag this straight onto youtube you you can upload it onto any other platform that you want to render this out for and that's pretty much how to use the best render settings for youtube in 1080p in uh, vegas pro 20 but obviously guys i'm going to cover also the other uh, presets like uh, 4k maybe even 8k to a certain extent i just have to see like how these actual settings work because i don't have footage in that high of a quality but that's pretty much the basics you need to know guys you have saved your preset and you're pretty much good to go when it comes to rendering your videos for youtube YouTube in 1080p and I'm gonna give you a little tip if you want to render out your video in 1080p for example 30 frames per second you just want to go to the project properties and then you want to change the settings as well to let's say 30 frames per second frame rate if it might change so but it all depends obviously on how you have recorded the video because there is no need to change the frame rate inside Vegas Pro if your frame rate is already matching